and out there getting autographs from him. He's a wonderful guy. Um, Alfonso started his career at the age of eight. His breakout role, I think we all know, he was Carlton Banks in the hit sitcom Fresh Prince of Bel Air. I think that's where most of us know him from. Correct? Okay. While starting, while starting in this show, he invented one of the most famous dances in TV history, the Carlton Dance. However, his dancing didn't end there. He and his dad's partner, Whitney Carson, won the 19th season of Dancing with the Stars. Right? He's got some incredible moves. Just recently, Alfonso was named the newest host of America's Funniest Home Videos. Oh, His career goes wow. on. Nice. Now, without further ado, I'm very pleased to announce and report Alfonso Ramiro. Because it's several reasons, it's actually a funny story, but the, the main the main thing was I hadn't done to that point any ballroom dances. Um, my first week obviously was jive, so I'm not in hold. The second week was the samba, which a little bit in hold, but not really much. And then all of a sudden the quick step. So it's, you had to do the fastest routine that you would do all season and be in hold. Um, and I hadn't had any uh, you know, training to that point in, in being in hold. The other, the other reason for me that it was difficult is because, like Whitney was my little sister by that point. Um, we had been together now, you know, almost six weeks, and she's like my little sister. And if when you do the quick step, you actually have to be hip to hip the entire time. You have to actually be touching. Uh, your hips together for, for the entire in-hold part of the dance. Well, when you go from one hip to the other hip, some things get in the way. <laughs> and when you're dancing with your sister, you kind of stick your butt out when you go from hip to hip, which was making it very difficult to actually do the steps and the technique. Um, so I got to about Friday, almost Saturday, and, and I had a conversation with myself. And, and I said, we, we, we don't have to um, be okay. <laughs> we good? And so we then was able to start really focusing on the actual technique of the dance uh, and was able to, to, to make it through. But uh, sun the Sunday before, I still couldn't do the entire routine full from top to bottom. Um, so it, it was a, it was really, really scary and difficult going into that Monday show, uh, having not been able to do the full routine uh, from top to bottom without making huge mistakes. Thank you. You got it. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hey. I got it. I have a question for you. you no, you know. You don't know. You've know. <laughs> you done a few movies, and you did one called Ticks with Seth Green, Peter Scalari, and Clint Howard. And I was wondering if you had any you had some stories, because I really enjoy your death scene in that movie. Well, I was hoping no one had ever seen that movie. <laughs> and I almost got through. Because clearly you and like three other people have seen the movie. Um, so I, you know, it was it was not one of the best movies ever made. No, 
but it's fun. Um, it was fun for others. Yeah. It was torture for me to watch. Uh, but do I have any stories from that? Not, not we were we were shooting in Big Bear, California, and uh, you know. I don't know if I really had any. I, the, the best stories I have of that movie was the reaction of Will Smith and some of my other friends watching it. <laughs> That's probably the best stories. They, they, they absolutely spent time laughing yeah. versus being scared. So it was interesting. Because I remember when I saw the trailer on, on tape, because I'd never seen the movie until two years ago. I'm sorry. And, <laughs> but me and my uncle. We, we used to watch French Prince of Bel Air a lot. And when right. we saw a scene where they, they put a shot of you screaming like you're in agony or in pleasure, we were laughing that was like agony. crazy. It was agony. Right, I know, but it was funny. It's kind of like this moment now. <laughs> <laughs> if I had a voice, I'd be screaming just like I did in the, in the movie. Okay, just one last question about that movie. Um, was it hard to film your death scene in it? Especially when you got picked by the bug? Because you're kind of hallucinating at, in that movie. Because you're drugged by that thing before you die. Give it away. I feel like I'm drugged right now. Yeah. Um, was it hard? No, it's acting. Right. It's acting. So it's you know you just do what you do. But um, but no, it wasn't. It wasn't difficult. You just you know have a plan and you go into it and you do it. And clearly it was great. I, I just have one quick one. How much? You just have one quick one. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, 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 I just sorry. Just have one question. Okay. 17 minutes later, I just have one more. I just want to know how fun was it for you to play a game banger who's trying to be good in face? That's it. Could you play a game banger in it? <laughs> We're still here. How was it? It was acting, and I did it, and I clearly have never done it again. 